In this question, we want to find dimension and basis for vector space consisting of solutions of a homogeneous system of equations x plus 2y equals to 0 and y plus z equals to 0. Here note that n that is number of unknowns is 3. They are x, y and z and m that is number of equations is 2. So we have a system consisting of two homogeneous equations in three unknowns and the solution space for this system of equations can be written as a space consisting of three dimensional vectors x, y, z belonging to R3 such that x plus 2y equals to 0 and y plus z equals to 0 and we want to find the dimension and basis for this vector space capital X. Now if I write this system of linear equations in matrix form then that will be 1 2 0 0 1 1 x y z equals to 0 0. Here the matrix A is of size 2 by 3 and because it is a small matrix I can use minor method to quickly find the rank. 2 by 2 is the largest size of minor that I can construct in this and if I take this minor the value of this minor will be 1 into 1 minus 0 into 2 that is 1 which is not equals to 0. So rank of matrix A that is R will be 2. So this implies that there will be n minus r that is 3 minus 2 equals to 1 free variable in solution of our system of equations. And that will also be equals to the dimension of our vector space consisting of solutions of this homogeneous system of equations. And r that is 2 constraint variables that we have to solve for using our equations. So let's say I set z to be the free variable. So I can set z equals to any arbitrary real number say alpha. Then I can solve for x and y in terms of alpha using our equations. So let's call this equation 1 and this equation 2. If I substitute z equals to alpha in equation 2 then I get y equals to minus alpha and if I substitute y equals to minus alpha in first equation then I get x equals to 2 alpha. So my solution vectors will consist of x component is 2 alpha, y component is minus alpha and z component is alpha. And if I take alpha common from this I can write this as 2 minus 1 1 and here note that alpha belongs to real numbers. So alpha can be any arbitrary real number. So here my solution vectors are of form alpha into 2 minus 1 1 vector. So my solution space will consist of all the vectors parallel to this vector and clearly all solution vectors are written as linear combination of only one vector. So the dimension of my solution space capital X is 1 and basis for my solution space capital X is the vector 2 minus 1 1 and here note that our solution space is a 3D line in three dimensional space. But because all our solutions just lie on this line so our solution space is one dimensional with respect to the basis vector 2 minus 1 1.